I'm Stephen Meller, I'm a Head of Business Development here at Hyeta Technologies. Additive manufacturing is changing the way in which we design and make products. We can make things that are smaller, lighter, integrated, things that we couldn't do through other means. In this short video, we're going to give you a step-by-step -step guide to how we design and make parts here at Hyeta. Hello, my name is Alex Redwood and I'm Head of Design here at Hyeta Technologies. So the first stage of the additive manufacturing design process is to understand the customer requirements. Typically, we're, our objectives are to make our components smaller, lighter and more compact than is traditionally available. If this is a heat exchanger, we would do some heat exchanger sizing at this point using a back catalogue of heat transfer surfaces. Following this, we'll bring our concept to life using 3D CAD systems and perform some analysis. If this is structural, we'd use some finite element software where we can also use topology optimization to try and carry out some mass reductions and we'd use CFD software to check the hydraulic performance of the unit. Through this iterative cycle, the design goes into detail phase and we pass on to our applications colleagues prior to manufacture. Hello, my name is Charlie. I work for Heist Technologies, Head of Materials and Applications. The Materials and Applications team look after the next stage in the process. We take the design team's CAD geometry and using high to design process parameters, we apply those to the, to the geometry. We also look at ways to reduce distortion and promote good dimensional accuracy on our parts so we know which way we can orientate those on the plate and apply the correct support structures. Finally, we apply laser parameters and laser optimization settings to ensure using all four lasers on the machines we have the most optimal build times. So the next step in the process is the build. So this involves growing the part layer by layer and uses high power lasers and metal powders. We're here in Bristol in our manufacturing facility and we use the latest in metal powder bed processes like this in Renishaw 500Q. So once the build is complete, we remove the part from the machine. We then go through a process of powder removal to remove all the powder from the component. We take the part and then run that through a furnace for a heat treatment cycle, including a stress relief. Following that, we then remove the component from its base plate. This is typically done using a wire EDM or a bandsaw. We then remove any support structures remaining on the part and typically do some form of final machining, particularly on key interfaces. Hello, my name is Lucy Revilla and I work at Haita Technologies as a Castor Validation Engineer. At this stage of the additive manufacturing process, components come through for inspection and validation. In this area, we carry out non-destructive geometric validation such as GOM, CT scanning and performance testing such as pressure leak testing. We do all this inspection and validation to ensure that the components meet the design requirements for the customer and the part is within tolerance. It's a really exciting time to be in additive manufacturing. So if you've got a problem or application that you would think might benefit from use of additive manufacturing, then please come to our website and get in touch.